latest, on January 13th, would my clone around the wide shut up of hypo And no, I won't. Here's your hypo weather bulletin. Wow, we now have four tropical cyclones active. The computer has generated a glut of cyclones in the southern hemisphere. Adonis, Awa, Amy and Brivasa have formed. Well, they're always active. Uh, two of them were at least. Two new ones today. No systems are active in the North Atlantic yet again, uh, as you would expect. I'm not going to make a joke this time. The Eastern Pacific is similarly quiet. The activity is not happening in these basins. Why they continue to appear on the screen is beyond me. The Western Pacific still dead and so is the North Indian Ocean still recovering after last year. Southern Hemisphere, well there's three of the storms depicted on the screen. Amy is the strongest one now, Awa has weakened substantially over land now in Madagascar. Cyclone Buivasa has winds of 40 miles per hour and a pressure of 997 millibars, currently 90 miles from the island of Epi in uh, Vanuatu. 16.2 degrees south, 169.7 degrees east. This storm is expected to move fairly slowly over the Port Vila region, uh, continuing towards the southwest throughout the middle of the week and then reaching New Caledonia on Wednesday or Thursday, then likely to become a Category 1 on the Sappho Simpson scale before turning, we think, towards the west. Here's a look at Awa's track right now, still that cyclone warning along the coast. 70 miles per hour, pressure 980, wind shear is very high moving inland, so this storm doesn't have very long left. Uh, still could make it on the other side of Madagascar as a tropical storm, but it certainly doesn't have long left. And here is the imagery of it. It reached Category 3 briefly yesterday, only for a six hour period before, quite unexpectedly actually, it started weakening due to high wind shear, which remains high right now. Other conditions are getting less favourable for the storm too. Here's Amy. It's not going southwest anymore. It's, to, it's turned southeast instead. There's still that uh, cyclone watch off the coast of Australia in Queensland, just in case it decides to pop back over. But now it does look like it's going to stay quite a bit away from shore, and we'll probably see those watches get lifted pretty soon. Here's how the storm has been looking, and it looks like it may be not so far from its peak intensity at this point. A small system with an eye starting to appear there. Sea surface temperatures are fair, wind shear and water vapour are moderate, so you've got minimal conditions beyond the threshold for development. Adonis looks like this, it's out over the South Pacific, east of the Dateline, uh, and you can see where it is there, it's uh, some, quite some way east of Tonga, and expected to stall at first, but then move on towards the southwest, gradually strengthen near hurricane strength by the end of that five day period before turning post tropical. Guivasa looks like this, we saw the uh, forecast earlier, Tro a tropical cyclone warnings in effect for Port Villa and other parts of Vanuatu, and as you can see, expected to become a hurricane equivalent storm as it moves through possibly Noumea on uh, the Tongue of New Caledonia. Four tropical cyclones active, as you saw there. It's January 13th, day 13 of the year, and we've seen four storms so far in 2020. The next name, the first name in the Atlantic is Aaron. In the Eastern Pacific, it's Annie. And in the Central Pacific, it's Akamu. In the Western Pacific, we're still looking out for Julong. And in the North Indian Ocean, the first name on list one is Biman. I'll just sit here for another moment or two whilst we wait for the next screen to appear. Amy was the first name in the Australian region. The next one is Bailey in the Southwest Indian Ocean. It's Brian and in Fiji, we're looking out for Chris. That's it for now. We'll see you again soon.